Hello everyone, I would like to introduce this new challenge playthrough that I am calling the Explosive Demolitionist slash Pyroman Pyromaniac Pyromance Pyromaniac Run. This run is gonna be a challenge run where we can only use explosive weapons and can only use fire weapons. Now explosive weapons obviously include grenades, dynamites, fucking cannons, the ones that you like sit play still and shoot bunnies out of, bunny cannons. What's the other one? A pirate cannon? All that, all, all kinds of that. And then the pyromancy stuff, pyromaniac stuff include you know, the flamethrower, the elf melter, other stuff like that. And we're also including explosive guns. I know there's a lot of explosive guns. Uh, there's the rocket launcher from Thorium. There's the rocket launcher from, you know, just regular, not Thorium, Tremor has a rocket launcher, a Shumai rocket launcher. And there's a, a whole lot of, you know, rocket launchers and explosive weapons from Terraria in general. The proximity mine launcher, land mines we can make, land mines will be fun to mess with. But yeah, a whole lot of stuff that we can actually, you know, do a full playthrough off of. And I'm excited for this. Because this seems like this can be really hard. But first off, let's get some goddamn NPCs spawning. We gotta make the smallest house possible because the NPC glitch does not work. I don't really make too many, you know, regular houses anymore. And the reason for that is because, you know, if I make regular houses with design every playthrough... That would take a lot longer. I'm gonna let that guy handle it. Well, I guess I can kill stuff with a pick. But I do want to do explosive damage. This benefits off of throwing damage, right? I did give myself a couple of grenades. Because I wouldn't really be able to do much against some of the harder enemies right off the bat. And that would not be nice. But yeah, this is will open up a lot of different opportunities in fighting bosses. And I think fireworks actually do damage. So we have to get the party girl at some point. And she does also sell, was it party grenades too? I think she sells party grenades. I don't know, we'll see. We will definitely see. So let's start off by building a house here. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Can I have that back? This should be big enough. This should be more than big enough. But yeah, hold up. I'll, I'm gonna do a quick jump cut here so we can build some damn houses. So you know what really inspired me to do this playthrough is I saw I was watching some Terraria like challenge videos. And I saw this video of this dude beat uh, the Wall of Flesh on Expert in the first day. First Terraria day. And that shit, I was like, oh, you can actually do that? Then there's a lot of actual things. There's a lot of things you can do with explosives. And when I say explosives, he killed the Wall of Flesh and Expert using dynamite. Which was pretty goddamn cool to see. And nice to know that it is possible. Well, I guess it wouldn't be possible for like any boss. You just It's just timing. And then there's a specific setup you need to do, you know, stuff like that. And dynamite just costs a lot, so, you know, challenge runs are always nice to see. And see, you know, anything is possible early on. But, we got four houses here. I feel like this should be enough, but, you know, I'll start another one going just just in case. Start another one going. That was interesting uh, grammar there. Let's, uh, oh, shit. I guess we can do this. Yeah, that worked. And let's just start filling this one, next one up. So, let's go exploring. We gotta find some grenades. We really should just build houses, but it's kind of... I already built, like, two houses, and no one's really, like, moving in at all. Wait, what's wrong with this house? That's suitable. They're suitable. Come on, demolitionist. Move in for me. Hey, does this cost... Do I get money from selling this to you? No value. No value for the penguin heads. That's fucked up. I don't know how bad of an idea it is to go, like, exploring... In a snow biome, this early on, we 30 grenades, uh, I don't know. Hopefully we can get some bombs, bombs will be helpful. Not just for clearing paths, but you know, they'll be helpful. Does this actually give one defense? Huh, I never knew that. Someone did put a comment like that, but you know, it doesn't say one defense on it. So I didn't believe the comment. But it does indeed give one defense, shout out to you, whoever commented that. Sorry that I forgot. Okay. That forgot your name. I usually don't remember too many people's names. Hello? I have auto trash on. Why is that in my inventory? Did I have that before I put on auto trash? I probably did. But what are we looking for down here? <laughs> no fucking clue. Just like chest. Which would probably be bad to look for chests. Like regular chests. Inside of a. Uh, shit, I'm gonna die. Can you move? 
Ooh. I'm gonna die down here. It's probably a bad idea to look for regular chests in a snow biome. Just a, you know, observation that I've came up with here because snow biomes usually barely have, well, underground snow places barely have chests. Well, not barely have chests, but chests aren't too, you know, common here. And they usually don't contain, like, you know, the random garbage that golden chests and brown chests would have. I don't even think, can you find brown chests down here? We're about to see. Nope, that's a regular ice chest. Blizzard in a bottle. That would be nice. It'd be nice to be very mobile right off the bat. What it? You guys hear like a fucking noise in the back? Hey, we got bombs. I hear like a noise in the background. Sorry if you hear it. I don't know what it is. It's like a ch in the background. Someone like washing themselves? I don't know. There's no one in my house. That's the scary part. Okay, let's uh... Get, can, I, can I have that? Thank you. Let's get that. Let's, might as well break the chest. I don't see no reason not to. Why every <laughs> every NPC from Tremor moved in? What are you trying to say, Tremor? I know you got an update coming out in a couple of days, but what are you trying to say? Trying to you trying to come back all of a sudden? Trying to be the trying to be the top dog again? Okay, hello? Oh, there we go. Let's break all. Oh, shit, let's break all of these. Boom. All right. Let's head on down. Hello. Okay. I felt like I got stuck there, but. We're able to get out of it. Hey, wolves! I'm not in the mood to f for fighting you right now. How high does this? I, I like. Mm, that's not really that high. I really like the animation on the what the desert one. No one come down here. Oh, I place too many of those. But we have bombs on deck. I should probably get these. Up, get these up here. I would probably will be building throwing armor since we're using grenades a lot. It would be the smart thing to do. So you can consider this like throwing playthrough 2, 1.5, 2, 2 there we go. There will be another throwing playthrough in the future. And I'm excited for whenever that will come out. You wanna just sit here, man? I got a Diagro? No? I kinda did. Alright, we're fine then. I was gonna throw a bomb down, but he kinda he Diagro, so it's all good. Now, when using bombs for offense, you gotta you gotta think a little bit more. So that's definitely gonna be something. Oh shit! I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay, this is why I shouldn't have took the pickaxe out of my inventory. What's this for? Boulder? What? <laughs> I don't. Know. That was uh, very odd. There's so many of these traps here. Oh, dude, these look like, low-key look like pressure pads, too. They're not, though. So, another video I saw that also inspired me to do this challenge run was, uh... Why do I keep throwing grenades? I saw a video about, uh... Someone using fireworks, and they insta-killed the moon, war moon lord using fireworks. And it was pretty cool. Didn't know that fireworks did damage. And that opens up a bunch of more interesting things bunch of interesting ways to kill bosses. We'll figure it out. Uh oh, okay, now we're fine. Thought I didn't have a double jump or anything for a second. I don't know why. Hold up here. Can we, can we, can we get a, can we get a rope? Can we get a rope? I can't reach that high. Can we get a rope? Let's get a rope right here. Boom. Now let's get a rope over there. Fuck. Oh, I made like a plus sign. What? Hello, double jump? My double jump didn't go off. Oh, you don't get double jump refresh when you go on ropes? What the fuck? I never knew that. There we go. I just want the topaz, man. I want to be as mobile as possible, as quick as possible. Because we're going to need to be running away from enemies a lot of the time instead of fighting them. At least early on. At least until we get a... Uh, fuck, dude, we're going to die here. At least until... I'm so dead. So dead. So dead. That's going to kill me. Yeah. Uh, at least until we get the demolitionist moving in. And obviously he didn't move in. My character is named Bomb Boy, if you didn't know. I forgot. Oh. I just fucked up my, my, my uh, carpal tunnel protector. Carpal, anti carpal tunnel. Rister. My Rister. Is this a slime statue? Oh, fuck, dude. I thought that was a bomb statue for a second. That would have helped a lot. There's it's like a gnat trying to fly in my face. Is that a gnat or like a little fruit fly? I don't know. Probably a fruit fly. Let's cut down more trees, though. I think I'm going to extend the houses before daytime comes. So we can actually, you know, explore the overworld during daytime. Alright, so this should be fine. I think what I'm going to do is just make, you know, different towers out of different materials. And we'll 
we'll go off of that. Oh look, this dude sells counterweights. I don't even have counterweights in my yo-yo playthrough. You're a fucking piece of shit, you know that? I will buy this dish from you though. And place that on that beautiful table. Hold on, I do have gold. What what do you sell? Can I make a use out of any of it? Sake? DS D DSPS meter? DPS meter? I will take a DPS meter. Thank you very much, sir. I will make efficient use out of oh don't put it in there. I will make efficient use out of this one. Who? Mortimer. What is Mortimer? What do you sell, Mortimer? Do you sell bombs? I feel like you sell bombs. You don't sell bombs. It sells an anvil. Oh shit, he sells a piggy bank. Piggy banks are pretty useful. If you didn't know, kinda buy them every playthrough. You know it's more useful than a piggy bank though? Fucking trough. Alright, we're getting two piggy banks here. I don't know why. Put one here, one for home, and then we'll get one for, you know, when I'm out and I need to store shit. How about that? That sounds that sounds like a good idea to me. Okay, we also have an anvil on deck. I don't think I can do too much with an anvil right now. Uh, wait, I can make a frostbite helmet. Make frostbite armor if I really wanted to. Should I? I mean, I was going to use it. Oh my god, that costs so much to make. I was going to use it for other stuff. I think I'll just use it for other stuff for now. Defense increased by one, maximum life increased by eight. Kind of already have a shield right now. No, I will upgrade this. That seems uh, like a good thing to upgrade. But yeah, let's head on out. Still no fucking... Still no dude yet. Still no demolitionist. Oh, thanks for the annoying lead pickaxe. I love it. How many rooms do I have open? Two. Fuck. Alright, let me build another one. You know, it's kind of a stupid thing. I don't think you can quick stack money. At least I've never noticed quick stacking money, but it's kinda, it kind of sucks that you can't do that. It kind of really sucks. Hey, you know what else I'll include in this, you know, because it does explode? I'll include, I'll include Hellfire Arrows. Hellfire Arrows, they do create an explosion, so we can make use out of that, too. Do I, no, I don't need that. I don't need a cactus. I don't need nothing from these damn cactuses. We should go in here, though. I'm gonna have to run from everything. First, before we go in here. Pyramid, please? I haven't had no, I haven't had a pyramid in probably the longest time. Dude, no fucking pyramid. That sucks. No, we're just gonna we're, we're gonna explore the surface. We're not gonna go deep already. Excuse me? We're not gonna go underground already. I will break this open. Okay. Maybe an umbrella can be useful. I can, maybe. Probably not. Bombs? More bombs would be nice. You know what also be nice? Demolitionist. Alright, what's down here? Nothing. No Arcalis. I found a Arcalis before in the multiplayer playthrough. Multiplayer episode. Dude, we always get the crimson. How do we always get the crimson? Multiplayer coming soon. It'll come out during the month I'm gone. Alright. Month I'm on vacation. Oh, we got grenades. We got some grenades. Grenades on deck. 2% critical strike chance. I'll take it. I'll take the little extra 2% critical strike chance. I will definitely up. Up something. An erection. Oh, jeez. That dude hit me with that back. That back step. I don't know if you guys saw that. That was really good. You almost got me. You almost. <gasps> yes. Norcus the demolitionist. You just got fucking juke. That means I can do shit like this now. Get the fuck out of here. It means I can actually, like, you know, use my stuff. I just gotta have gold. Boom. Thanks for the lead. Should I go into the underground jungle really quickly? I'm just trying to find overworld chests. Above ground chests, not overworld. What's this, Minecraft? Oh, shit, he dodged it. He dodged it. A lot of enemies are pyrophobic. So it will be extremely useful to be, you know, having pyromaniac, pyromancy weapons. I don't know. Fire weapons. Let's go with that. I'm fucking these guys up. And I'll take your gold. There's like, like a slug back there. Watch out now. Oh, let's not fall into anything we can't get out of. Okay, there's, there's a chest up here. Marco the Painter. I think we win, guys. That's Marco the Painter. Painters are high key overpowered, though. You guys don't know about the weapon they drop. The uh, paintball gun. It's probably one of the best like range weapons you can get early game. It's really good. The fire rate on it is just crazy. That's what makes it good. Is there any like? Any more, any more uh, chest I can get? Yeah, can you jump over me? Thank you, kind sir. You actually jumped over me. Oh, shit. Okay, that could have been bad. What is heal? 
Thank you. I did kind of want to get bounced over here a little bit more. Hey, look at that. There's a... What's the odds of a uh, hornet? What the heck? Did I break the torch? What's the odds of a hornet statue being in a jungle biome? Is that, is that a coincidence? Or is that like where it actually would, you know, spawn? I don't know. I feel like statues just all statues spawn randomly. Pretty sure that's how it works. But this is a pretty nice coincidence. I place the torch. There you go. Can I jump? Eh. I can't actually make that jump. Nice to see. Nice to see. I don't know how much higher the uh, blizzard in the bottle gets you than the regular bottle. I think the blizzard in the bottle and the regular. Oh shit. Okay. I thought we were going to die there. The blizzard in the bottle and the. Not the regular. The desert? Was it sandstorm in a bottle? I think those are the same. That or the sandstorm is way higher. I don't know. I feel like the sandstorm is way higher. Hey, is there a chest in there? Come on. Alright, something looked like a chest in there. I will be including bee grenades, too. I don't know, actually. Bee grenades do explode into bees, so it only makes sense. Man. I'm gonna kill this uh, mahogany dude. Oh, he jumped right over there. Don't jump over that one. Hey. That's yeah, more like it. Alright, I'm not exploring anymore. Recall. My boy, Norcus. Norcus, that's your name? Yes, it is his name. Norcus. We're gonna have good times, man. I ain't, I ain't talking about no freaky shit. You get your mind out of the gutter, man. We're gonna have good times. We're gonna have good times indeed. Let's already stock up. Look at 99 on deck. Uh... Let's just get more, then. Let's just get more. You want some of that? You want an umbrella? You want some vicious, vicious aids? Huh? I think we can actually make something that will up our damage. We have to... That will up our throwing damage right off the bat. Dude, can I stop accidentally throwing grenades? Band. Band and I think Topaz. Yes, throwing attacks will do additional two damage. Boom, let's put that on. Ooh, and it's lucky. See, it doesn't show the number exactly. I read up on this on... I think it was... This is from Thorium, right? Pretty sure it's from Thorium. But I read up on it on Thorium and it said... Uh, it doesn't exactly show the damage. But the damage is there. So, don't freak out or anything. I always thought it did not do any damage. And I never really used it. And it does indeed do the damage. And the numbers will be there when you use it. It's just, you know... It's not public. Is there like a snow Arcalis? I saw like a little tube right there. Can you find the Arcalis in a snow biome? I don't think you can. I don't think you can. But let's continue exploring the exploring the overworld. I don't know why at this point. We kind of have what we need, which was grenades. We can like do do whatever we want. But I guess we should try and get an early game throwing set. So maybe I should you know get a bunch of iron. Uh, wait for nighttime, collect some stars. And we'll possibly fight the Grand Thunderbird off the bat if we can. That or, uh, what's his face? Giant Slime. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Fuck! There you go. I mean, I'm having troubles already. It's not good. I'm hoping for a pyramid here. I'm hoping for a pyramid. Please give me a pyramid. You know how nice a pyramid would be? It'd be really nice. You know, flying carpet. Mobility on point. No. That's fucked up. You may be seeing, like, in the future, as we go out through this playthrough, you may be seeing holes everywhere. <laughs> no problem. No problem. The holes are just aesthetic, man. Look at that. Look like some heavy, like some giant ball sacks. Well, let's get some mushrooms. You never know what you can make out of mushrooms. Mushroom soup. That's really all. Is it called mushroom soup? Is that just Minecraft? I don't know what it's called in this game. Hello, bye. Uh, is this lead? Oh, it is lead. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Great thing about this playthrough. What is mining? You barely have to do it when it comes to getting ores. But there will be occasional things we have to mine, obviously. Like, little things. I'm not gonna use bombs on, like, to break pots. I'm not gonna use bombs for that, man. As much as I've, uh, you know, demolitionist I am, I'm still gonna, still gotta be a smart demolitionist here. We gotta use our money wisely. What's in here? Chest? If I can just get early game stuff going on. You know, whatever early game accessories I can get still. That would be nice. That is guaranteed an Arcalis right there, isn't it? Fuck, I didn't mean to throw that. It works. It works anyways. This will open us up. We're about to get an Arcalis. I won't use it, but I'll put it up on like a trophy. Trophy stand. 
trophy sound? Was it weapon weapon display? Look at this. It's definitely an Arcalis. Holy shit. Like the most obvious Arcalis I've ever seen. Look at this. Beautiful. Pretty. I know you're not coming down here. I can't see. Oh, it's not. That sucks. That really sucks. You look like some like fucking kidneys right here. It's fine. They know they're like, wait a minute. You're doing a fucking grenade demolitionist playthrough. You don't need an Arcalis. You're right. You're right, game. I don't. You think I can take on Skeletron? <laughs> I feel like I can. Just because I have grenades, and grenades are pretty fucking good. Hold up. I might I might try and fight Skeletron, dude. I really feel like I can take him on for some reason. Hold up here. Hold up here. Let's let's just attempt it. I don't see no reason not to attempt a fight. Definitely not a no reason not to attempt a fight. Hopefully we'll have enough time though. I don't know how long this day has been already. Or this night. How long this night has been going. Can I make a that's not what I wanted to make. It's fine though. <laughs> hey man, you wanna fight? I don't have armor, but let's fight anyways. Alright, this is gonna be way harder than I thought already. <laughs> How am I supposed to do this? Get out of here. You're fucking the fight up. Ow. Eh. Eh. We can do this. We can do this. Ooh. Is he a big scale of trauma? Why does he feel so goddamn huge? Of course he has a dangerous hand. Ooh. I can't reach you up there, Skeletron. I'm gonna have to bring it down here. There we go. That works. We always gotta be moving for this fight. Because he will slap the shit out of me. That was a good, like, collateral hit right there. Whoop! Just dodge the hands. Dodge the hands. And this fight will le legitimately be won. Fuck, dude. Oh, they actually hit him. Surprisingly, that hit him. <laughs> no way. No way we're getting through this like this. Early game. Demolitionist. Starting off strong. Oh shit, okay. I thought I was about to get hit there. Ooh, that was a bad grenade though. That hurt. That hurt. That hurt. That hurt. Come on. Be calm here. Be calm. Fuck. These aren't hitting. Fuck. <laughs> Keep missing. Oh, that was, that was a perfect shot right there. I think if we made a little bit better of an arena, this would be a little bit easier. No problem. No problem. Fuck. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. No! <laughs> I almost killed Skeletron. Early on, no armor. Okay, that would have been that would have been pretty pretty sweet. No, there's a chest there too. That, that's fucked up. I don't notice the chest until I'm dead. Alright. It's fine. It's just good to know the strength that we're already standing at. Don't I have an anvil? I was about to say, like why did it why isn't it showing me anything? I kinda need a furnace, I guess. I don't have a furnace. How do you make furnaces? <laughs> is it torches? Do you need torches? Where is it? There it is. Boom. Furnace on deck. But yeah, I think I will end off this first episode here. You know, I'm just laying out laying out the, the floor plan for you guys. You know, all the weapons we can get, all the all the goals we have. I didn't really say any goals, but the goal is to beat get really far. I don't know about Moon Lord beating, but definitely get really far. But by the time this playthrough will end, there's definitely going to be a lot of updates coming in from like all kinds of months. But yeah, I will see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're going to enjoy this. It's going to be fun. I'm going to tell you right now, this is going to be fun.